Korea would be like and how it would be different? A conflict in North Korea, John, would be probably uh, the worst uh, kind of fighting in most people's lifetimes. Breaking news now, South Korean intelligence says the North has just launched another missile. They've tracked the launch off the country's east coast. More details as they come into the newsroom. That news just breaking now. North Korea apparently has tested an unidentified projectile. That's how it's being characterized, the latest provocation by Pyongyang. And the North has been relentless in testing these ballistic missiles over the past several weeks. It almost feels like once a weekend. Well, South Korea's president has now ordered a meeting of his country's National Security Council for the morning. This follows the report that the North tested a new anti-aircraft system as well this week. And David McKenzie is joining us by the phone. David, what more can you tell us about this new projectile launch of some sort? Well, Anna, this happened just moments ago, it appears, from the eastern part of the Korean Peninsula, uh, Pyongyang, uh, testing yet another projectile of some kind, potentially a ballistic missile from the eastern coastline, heading in an easterly direction towards uh, Japan. The North Korean regime has hundreds of artillery cannons and rocket launchers within range of one of the most densely populated cities on earth, which is the capital of South Korea. We are working with the international community to deal with this issue. The group of seven nations on Saturday addressed North Korea's ever-growing nuclear and ballistic missile program, calling it a great threat to the world. The G7 includes the U.S., the U.K., Canada, France, Germany, Italy, and Japan. North Korea's threats not only affect the region, but also the world. I would like to bring up the issue with the leaders of the G7. The leaders met in Sicily, where they released a joint declaration stating that Pyongyang must immediately and fully comply with all relevant UN Security Council resolutions and abandon all nuclear and ballistic missile programs in a complete, verifiable and irreversible manner. Earlier this month, the UN Security Council condemned the regime's latest ballistic missile launch. I shall now make a statement in my capacity as Secretary of State of the United States. According to UN Security Council Resolution 2321, the stated ob objective of this council is North Korea's abandonment of its nuclear weapons and ballistic missile programs. For the past 20 years, well-intentioned diplomatic efforts to halt these programs have failed. It is only by first dismantling them that there can be peace, stability, and economic prosperity. With each successive detonation and missile test, North Korea pushes Northeast Asia and the world closer to instability and broader conflict. The threat of a North Korean nuclear attack on Seoul or Tokyo is real. And it is likely only a matter of time before North Korea develops the capability to strike the U.S. mainland. The DPRK has re repeatedly claimed it plans to conduct such a strike. State media on Thursday warning America of a supermassive preemptive strike that would wipe out the U.S., accompanied by the blunt message, don't mess with us. Given that rhetoric, the United States cannot idly stand by, nor can other members of this council who are within striking distance of North Korean missiles. Bottom line is, it would be a catastrophic war if this turns into uh, combat, if we're not able to resolve this situation through diplomatic means. North Korea, which is very much on our minds, we'll be discussing terrorism, but I think uh, we will really be in particular focused on the North Korea problem. Uh, 
It's a big problem. It's a world problem. And it will be solved. At some point, it will be solved. You can bet on that. United States is sending a third aircraft carrier strike group, USS Nimitz, CVN-68, to the Korean Peninsula in an apparent warning to North Korea to deter its ballistic missile and nuclear programs. It is very rare that the U.S. military has simultaneously deployed three aircraft carriers to the same region. North Korea has been testing missiles. Uh, are they getting any better at their capability? We always assume uh, that with a testing program, they get better with each test. You say North Korea is a threat to the region. Is North Korea a threat to the United States? It is a direct threat to the United States. They have been very clear in their rhetoric. Uh, we don't have to wait until they have a continental ballistic missile with a nuclear weapon on it to say that now it's manifested completely. What is the line in North Korea that if the regime crosses that line, in your view, the U.S. should take action? Yeah, I'd prefer not to answer that question, John. Uh, the president needs political maneuver room on this issue. Uh, we, we do not uh, draw red lines unless we intend to carry them out. We've made very clear that we're willing to work with China, and we believe China has tried uh, to be helpful in this regard. Give me a sense, if you can, of the time when you think North Korea could get to the point of no return. We consider it a uh, direct uh, threat even today, uh, the North Korean threat. As far as that specific threat, I don't want to put a timeline on it uh, at this time. Uh, what we know, I'd prefer to keep uh, silent about. <laughs> The United States of America will always seek peace, but under President Trump, the shield stands guard and the sword stands ready. Those who would challenge our resolve or our readiness should know. We will defeat any attack and meet any use of conventional or nuclear weapons with an overwhelming and effective American response. Any attack on the United States or on our allies will be defeated and any use of nuclear weapons would be met with a response that would be effective and overwhelming. Thank you.